muscular system is divided in some regions. Region of the heart, region of the neck, epigastric region, and uh, region of peripheral vessels. And every part now, of cardiovascular system will perform inspection, palpation, no, percussion only region of the heart, da? no, and in future, auscultation da, of the heart. Da. Then we will start from inspection of the heart region. Look at your patient at front, turn by left side, da, to see any um, bulging areas, any pulsations, mm -hmm, I can see. Da. And after that, you will make a conclusion. There is no cardiac humpback. Uh, cardiac humpback is bulging area of the heart region. Da? No, in case if somebody has uh, uh, congenital heart defects in ha childhood, the uh, bones not so hard, they can be changed da? very easy, no, like this. Da? After that, the next pulsation that you can see, maybe you will, maybe not. It is apex beat because apex beat, uh, which is normal pulsation. What is this? It is thrust of the apex of the heart is left ventricle to the chest wall during the systole. Da? And uh, in healthy persons, if you will see, you can see it uh, medially, mid-clavicular line, 1, 1.5 centimeter. Da? In somebody, you will see, if you not see, it is not pathology. Da? It may be uh, uh, more thick chest wall, maybe it um, narrowed into closer spaces, da? like this. So, cardiac humbug, apex beat. After that, cardiac beat. Cardiac beat, no, because some pulsations you can see and you can palpate. When I will uh, show palpation, I will explain when da, you can mm -hmm. um, see, feel this pulsation. So, cardiac come back, apex beat, now cardiac beat. Cardiac beat, the pulsation, this pulsation you can see in left edge of the sternum, level of fourth and fifth rib, da, or in this area. No, I don't see any pulsations. Later, what is this? Da? Da, after that, also what you can see. Um, in case of if patient had a um, myocardial infarction, Post-infection aneurysm, da? left ventricular aneurysm, it is nearly same place, but you will see late edge of the sternum from third till fifth rib. No, there is no any pulsation. After that, aorta, da? it is right side of the sternum, second to close the space. No, not by palpation, I, I only show da? now. So there is no any pulsation. Pulmonary trunk pulsation, there is no. So about inspection of the heart region, that's so cardiac humbug, apex beat, cardiac beat, da? left ventricular aneurysm, pulmonary trunk, oh, sorry, uh, aortic pulsation, pulmonary trunk pulsation. There is no any pulsations. After that, look at the neck. Uh, we can assess presence of the uh, arch of the water pulsation. There is no, da? Uh, in some cases, we can see carotid artery pulsation, visible pulsation of carotid artery. I will explain something about, uh, no, uh, you studied anatomy, da? and some part of physiology, da? but anatomy too. And I think you heard something about heart defects, yes? We have the my uh, stenosis and incompetence of wells, because it is uh, very important for what? Uh, for example, in case of aortic incompetence, we can see many peripheral signs. Da? <coughs> aortic incompetence and the aortic well will not close the fire completely and blood will be returned to the during the diastole. Da? No, returned new portion, so left ventricle usually overfilled by blood, and this big part of the blood, big volume, will be discharged into the aorta. So you usually, uh, systolic pressure increase, uh, diastolic pressure decrease because the blood returned da, to the left ventricle. And difference between systolic and diastolic pressure sometimes so big, than 160, 60, da. Uh, what about amplitude of uh, arterial wall vibration, da? So if we have so big changes, we will have big amplitude da? and becomes visible visible so visible carotid artery pulsation it is um, corrigan sign da? but in, in other like other words da? in other words uh, it is corrigan sign uh, no, there is no after that mustard sign mustard sign is just like not enough the head and also the heartbeat da? just too typical for aortic incompetence da? There, there is no uh, after that um, in, in case of this pathology, you can uh, see pulsation of central arteries until uh, peripheral arteries and sometimes capillary pulse, dark winky sign. It is too typical for aortic incompetence, but it is later, it is peripheral vessels, da? like this. Da, what else on the neck you can see? Uh, uh, maybe you heard about Stokes collar. Stokes collar, what is this? 
it is a vena cava uh, superior obstruction syndrome да? due to obstruction, compression what we can see the neck becomes edematous like swollen, cyanotic да? plus not only uh, it is like local edema and cyanosis plus dilation of the uh, veins of upper part of the body and upper extremities да? like this, so there, there is no Plus, <coughs> you can assess what possible to see, um, like, uh, no, you should know mean of a negative and positive venous pulse. Better to check it in lying position, da, because this pulsation you will not see in standing, da, very rare. Uh, so, be better to assess in lying position. And uh, <coughs> what does it mean, negative and positive venous pulse? Negative in healthy persons, because uh, when we have contractions of uh, ventricles, we have dilation of like systole of ventricles, diastole of atrium. So appearance of arterial pulse, but vein collapse usually. In some cases, um, I will explain, um, no, I explain about aortic incompetence and where is tricuspid well. Tricuspid well between right atrium, right ventricle. Da? If we have incompetence of this well during the systole, blood will be returned to the right Which atrium. Uh, right atrium, vena cava superior and vena cava inferior. Da? So, and uh, blood will flow to the veins da? and you will see at the same time with pulse appearance da? a positive like venous pulse venous pulse so <coughs> you see people for, for tricuspid incompetence for you know right heart failure if, if you want da? Uh, <coughs> da. so it is a positive negative ven venous pulse no on the neck on the neck i think enough talk just one moment Uh, no, I will not show again brachial deviation because uh, we already studied it, uh, respiratory system. After that, epigastric region. What can pulsate in epigastric region? It may be due to uh, right ventricle pulsation, no, usually tam, below the zipoid process. Uh, it may be abdominal part of aorta or liver can pulsate also. Uh, after that, region of peripheral vessels. Uh, we usually look at the uh, temporal arteries, da, when it becomes visible and touches, like snake, uh, you can uh, it is like warm sign, like warm sign, uh, in case of um, arterial hypertension, atherosclerosis, that can be positive. And also we can check what? Uh, veins, abdominal wall, the cup of medusa, da, maybe you heard, the and mm -hmm. on the lower extremities, uh, varicose of vein of lower extremities, da, mm -hmm. you will check. Mm -hmm. da, about inspection, that's all. Next, palpation.